I tried to pick up the cat. He was not having it. <laughs> so, hi guys. Um, this week we are going to be learning about the letters U and V. That's right, we're going to learn two letters this week to make it a little easier to find things around your house because there are, I'm not going to say there are fewer things that start with U and V sounds, but they are a little trickier to find just laying around your home. So we'll get started and we'll start with U. To make a U, an ASL, you're going to take your hand, you're going to bring in your pinky, your thumb, and this other finger right here. <laughs> and you're just gonna have two fingers straight up like this, touching each other. That's a U. Can you do that? Now U makes the sound, uh, like it's kind of confused. Uh, uh, it's confused, U. But you make the second sound, it also says its own name. Sometimes it just says you. Sun, Sun, are you okay? One second. Okay, he's okay. Anyway, so you also says its name. It says you, like unicorn, you. So it goes, uh... And it also says you. Like it has to think about its name before it remembers. Uh, you. The next letter we're going to learn is V. To sign V in ASL, you take your U and you split it apart. So you have a V between your fingers. And that's how you make a V. Can you do that? Once you have that, we're going to make the V sound together. V makes the sound V, V, you can feel the sound on your teeth if you're doing it in such a way that, watch, V, V, your, your lip is going to touch your teeth and it's going to make that V sound and you can feel it vibrating, the letter V. So. I went around my house and I found three things that either started with a U or a V. So we will start with U. The first thing I found for you was this white undershirt. This is my husband's undershirt. It's just a shirt you wear underneath other shirts. So a uh, a uh, undershirt is you. All right. The next thing that I found, stay with me. What am I doing? Okay, here's what I'm doing. So in my coffee cup, I have a spoon. It's got coffee on it, don't mind it. But the reason I'm holding up a spoon, even though spoon starts with the letter S, is because spoons, knives, and forks together collectively are referred to as utensils. Utensils for letter U. The third thing that I found actually starts with the letter V, makes the V sound, and it is a valentine that I got this year. So I have lots of valentines at my house. V, v, valentine for letter V. So your job is to go around your house and try to find one, two, three things that either start with a U and make the uh, you sound or the V sound. This one's going to be a little tougher for you guys, but I think you're up for the challenge. So go. Uh, 